Welcome to Mass Speed Market. Today we're gonna solve a really nice problem from Ukrainian Mass Olympiad. So let's talk about this. If we have x to the power of 4 equals x minus 1 to the power of 4, we want to find x in this equation. So for the first step, I can move this one to the left side. So here we can write x to the power of 4 minus x minus 1 to the power of 4, that's equal 0. Before I continue, of course, you know that, for example, if you have a squared minus b squared, you can write it as a minus b times a plus b. Yes, that's right. So here in this equation, I can write x squared squared minus x minus 1 squared. And again, squared, that's equal 0. So... According to this really nice point, um, we can write it as x squared minus x minus 1 squared. The first one is negative or the second one is negative. The first one is negative and another has to be positive. So the next one will be equal x squared plus x minus 1 squared. Yes, that's right. That's equal 0. And so we can, uh, you know that, um, for example, we have a positive and negative b squared that will be equal a squared plus b squared positive and negative 2 times a times b. So in this case, um, you can write it x squared minus um, x squared minus 2x plus 1. And times the second one that will be equal x squared plus x squared minus um, 2x plus 1 and that's equal 0 so let me uh, write it better for you um, the first side will be equal 2x minus 1 times this one I mean and the second one will be equal 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 that's equal 0 so here we have two situation the first one 2x minus 1 equals 0 so x will be equal 1 half that's the correct answer one of the correct answer the second one has to be equal 0 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 that's equal 0 so we have to find x from this quadratic equation in one of my videos I proved that for example let me write it for you if you have ax squared plus bx plus c that's equal 0 you can find x with this formula minus b positive and negative square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a in one of my videos, I prove it and I put the link of the video in the description. If you don't know, you can check. So in this case, A is equal to B negative 2 C1. So X will be equal to positive and negative square root of B squared. That's equal 4 minus 4 times a that's equal 2 times c c was equal 1 divided by 2a so that's 4 and now x will be equal to positive and negative square root of minus 4 divided by 4 and of course you know that that's a complex numbers two complex numbers the first one i called it x1 or no let me call it x2 because x1 was equal 1 half here and the x2 uh, will be equal 2 plus i square root of 4 divided by 4 and x3 will be equal 2 minus i times the square root of 4 divided by 4 you know that the square root of 4 is equal 2 and now the answer will be equal 1 plus i divided by 2 and the third answer is 1 minus i divided by 2 and of course you know that i squared is equal 
negative one and in this case we have uh, one real number and two complex numbers for this equation if you like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel don't forget to like the video and thanks for watching